And Joe Brand is set to follow in the footsteps of Pamela Anderson, but not as a Baywatch babe, as a genie. What? Well, yes, as a genie in Panto. She's here. We'll explain that in a minute. Uh, yeah, the very best of luck. Well, they're two of the country's favourite stars, and they're getting ready to kick off Panto season. Oh no, they're not. No, it wasn't bad, was it? It wasn't bad. That's all right. Very good. Well done. Uh, she's a comedian who's had us in stitches for years, and he's a TV presenter turned actor who's entertained us for decades. Well, they're Joe Brand and Matthew Kelly, and uh, here they are in action. Fear! Nicely done. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, both of you. Have you ever worked together before? No. No. So no. this is the first. This is the, for the first time that the those two huge bodies of work have come together. <laughs> Into talking huge bodies. <laughs> Very appropriate. Um, well, I just want to ask you, Joe, whether this theatre experience you're doing panto is because you want to do panto or because the theatre is near to your house. <laughs> That's such a cynical question. It's because it's near to my house. <laughs> yeah. um, no, well, I've, I, I've done Gilbert and Sullivan before, which is a big um, ensemble piece, and I just really enjoyed it because stand-up's quite a solitary thing, really, and mm. I like working with a big group and having a laugh. Yeah, so and you'll get that there. Will I? Oh, yeah. Um, this, I mean, this theatre, in regards to panto, has got a real pedigree, actually. Um, you've done you've done panto lots of times. Loads, yeah. I did uh, 30 years' worth, and then I stopped about 15 years ago. And uh, and then I took it up again uh, when I was offered Ugly Sisters with my, with my son. Mm. <laughs> so this one is Aladdin. Ah. Yeah, this, this one is, is Aladdin, Aladdin yeah. And the, and the reason we mention uh, Pamela Anderson is, uh, is because this... I think it was a couple of years ago. It might have been two, is it two thousand and nine? I think it was that it was first done, and and she played your part. Pamela Anderson, I think, was playing your part. And this is the this is the genie of the ring. Yes. yes. So what you can see why they've picked me to yeah. sort of keep the tradition going. Same costume. I look great running along the beach in Hastings with just my dinky on. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> And, and you are uh, uh, Widow Twanky. Widow Twanky, yeah. Is this a role that you've played before? I have played it before, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, Dame's great. Why do you like that? Uh, getting in a frock, really. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's more of a weekend thing for me, but, you know, if you can <laughs> legitimately do it every night, then uh, it suits me down to the ground, win-win. You actually have a bit of a responsibility doing pantomime, I always think, because a lot of the times it's the first time your audience, as in really young children, have an experience of being in the theatre. Yeah, they'll be thrilled to see the two of us. Oh, well, they'll have no idea who I am, I'm <laughs> no, sure. No, so they know. They'll just think, oh, who's that lady? And we're all shouting, it's behind you. <laughs> What's behind you? Flawless are behind you. <laughs> oh, yes, flawless. Are you those two? <laughs> they are. Really... Yes, they are. They're the yes, guards. They're doing Explain it, yeah. their... Uh, oh, yeah, they're lovely, they're though. They're playing the, the police, I think. Yeah. Are they? Mm. They are, yeah. And my son is playing the chief of police. I see. Yeah. So your, your stand-up, as you've alluded to, uh, is solitary. How will you be working with a team? I mean, I know you've done it in a couple of other things as well, but, but on stage, in a team, are you looking forward to that? Um, yes, yeah, so the two rules are, A, don't be rude, and B, remember to say your lines properly so people take cues from me. That's what I'm going to try and achieve. Which is called acting. Is that...? Is, is it? That, is it? <laughs> right, OK. I'm not, I don't really know how to do that, despite the fact I did get a batter for it, but that was accidental, I think. <laughs> I think someone slumped yeah. over drunk at I the BAFTA judging table. You both have rituals, am I right in saying that? Do you? Do yeah, you, I do. You have. What? Tell me what yours is. I do. Well, it's it's just started really. I've, I, I splash my face with cold water uh, before a show, and it has to be five times. I've suddenly five. noticed I'm doing it, and I do it three times. And I think that's enough, and then I know. I go, no, I have to do it five times, otherwise I'll get... And does that cure your <clears> nerves? <throat> because you have... You... No. No, it's just are. OCD. It's just being <laughs> bonkers. But I... you you get very nervous. I mean, for somebody that's been on stage and screen so many times... I know, you, you would think I'd be, I'd be used to it by now, but no. But uh, it's, it's such an exciting ride when you actually do do it. it. It's worth doing. But every morning I wake up and I think, oh, please don't make me do this. Please don't make me do this. I'd rather put my eyes out with biros. But it's like going on a fairground ride that you think you shouldn't go on. Yeah. And does this, it, uh, what, this is washing f f five times, does that extend to anything else? Or is it just that routine? Well, there are, there are certain uh, theatre things, like uh, uh, superstitions, like no whistling in the dressing yeah, room, yeah. no mentioning the Scottish play, no live flowers on stage, wash washing with the soap that's in the dressing room. Green, this will be interesting for you, because 
it's bad luck to wear green on stage. Is that right? And when I we used to work with uh, Hilda Baker years and years ago, she would have nothing to do with green. And the reason is that spotlights used to be worked from, uh, used to be coloured lime because they were made with carbon rods. Yeah. So if you wore green, you disappeared. See you. But you have a green superstition. I do. You do. What's I yours? sacrifice a locust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, no, I don't. Um, well, years ago when I was doing stand up, I had a really storming gig one night and I just happened to have nine pieces of green toilet paper in my pocket. So I then decided that I had to have that all the time. And it actually was more work because I'd find myself in Doncaster trying to find a green supermarket open at 10 o'clock at night that had green toilet paper. And do you do, you do it all the time? No, I don't do it anymore. Oh, that's sad. I, I just allow myself to be incontinent. <laughs> <laughs> Which works well for yeah, me, that's really. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Aladdin is at the new Wimbledon Theatre. It's from the 9th of December until the 12th of January next year. I think it's Thank from the 6th, isn't oh, it? Oh, is it? It's the 6th of December. Yeah. Oh, okay. 6th of December. December. Yeah. Job one, one of us on the, is on the ball. Thank yeah. you very Thank much. You guys. Thank you. Right, the winner of the voice is on after this. But